thank uh, Rukmini Madam for introducing me to this college, uh, both the students and the teachers. I, I can honestly touch my heart and tell you that I am going back um, uh, with more enlightenment of learning from this college, many, many beautiful principles, which I feel could be introduced in other colleges also. And things like, uh, you know, teachers, yeah, teachers caring. I know in IIT Bombay, the fourth year students are taking care of the first year students. But I have never heard that the teachers come forward, which teacher will say that I will take care of 20 boys. It's not an ordinary thing, uh -huh. like you all are doing here. It's very nice. So, and, and also the SAC club I liked very much. There are about 100, 200 students, I think. You know? It's a very, very wonderful idea because the students are given the responsibility. They, they take it as their life and soul and they do it, put their energy. So I see the Vigyan College as an empowering college. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Dear Chairman Sir, I am very happy to be here at Vigyan. I only very badly miss you today. Morning when I came here, the in-charge Vice Chancellor Dr. K. V. Krishna Kishorji and Registrar uh, Camder, uh, Dr. M. S. Raghunathan and Dean of Student Affairs Dr. M. S. S. Rukmini Mat Madam. So they all uh, very warmly greeted me and my team of uh, devotees from ISKCON and uh, it was a very great grand welcome. Um, and then when they took me to the program, uh, there were more than a uh, couple of thousand students sitting completely uh, pin drop silence. I haven't spoken to audience more than thousand generally in other places. It was a big audience, and although I'm not a great performer on the stage, huh, I am a very simple uh, preacher, but the students were very respectful and polite. So I asked the teachers, Rukmini Madam, I asked, how are the students uh, trained to be so well behaved? Many places, uh, students give out whistles. Huh? Uh, so then the, she and others told me that there's a SAC uh, committee here and uh, they do many, many programs for the students and it is uh, for the students and done by the students. Um, they plan out various activities throughout the year and, uh, uh, and also I came to know that, uh, that there are hostels for the boys and girls and uh, uh, girls don't go out, go out of the very huge campus and such a wonderful, there is a protection mechanism for the girls which is very important, a very, very great culture mm. and also uh, after my program uh, was over, uh, some uh, group of students wanted to meet me. They met me and asked me questions, very nice questions. But in the afternoon, one uh, team of uh, SAC members came, probably around, uh, I think, 10 to 15 of them. Each of them had very valuable questions. Mm -hmm. Question, for example, uh, what are the expectations of parents from teenagers? One girl asked the question. Mm -hmm. Another boy asked a question about in teenage, what are the problems uh, you think uh, students are facing and what solutions would you like to give? Mm -hmm. So many, many such questions they asked, uh, very relevant and uh, meaningful questions. And they also asked about uh, how when somebody doesn't forgive us, we feel broken hearted, so how do we take it? Mm -hmm. So some of there was a question about forgiveness. So I was very amazed by the kind of uh, uh, queries they raised uh, each of these leaders. We had almost uh, probably an hour and a half, I think, session with them. Then after that, um, following that was a teacher's uh, program. Uh, many teachers uh, attended the uh, event in the evening. I was speaking about work-life balance and uh, also about counseling the students. So I was telling them that I'm learning something new, that uh, yeah, in this college, every teacher takes responsibility for 15 or 20 students, which is a very wonderful thing. Actually, it's ideal, actually. Shil Raupad, our uh, founder Acharya of Iskand, says that like one guru gives guidance to 10 people, and those 10 people actually uh, take care of 10, 10 each. Gurukula was like that. In the, in the same manner, teacher taking care of the students, uh, mentoring or counseling is a beautiful concept it is. And the students who come from various parts of the world here, they feel very protected and sheltered, that they have somebody to connect with, which is a very nice thing. I have only seen students doing for students. Is a teacher doing for students is a new thing for me. I liked it. So I was telling them that I am learning many things when I came here. Uh, 
and madam also shared some of the uh, brochures and everything with me so there i was saying something unique which i have never seen in the world anywhere the convocation festival where boys and girls were wearing a turban and a particular type of angavastra you know and so they were wearing that like phd students were one type and masters were another type i think like that they have different so the madam told me that it is a revolutionary idea of our chairman instead of wearing that black color cap which typically in any college you find people wearing so when i saw that i my respect for you tremendously increased because uh, you you have brought the tradition you preserved the tradition and heritage of india by introducing this uh, i want to show the photo of this to the other universities and tell them you also start this <laughs> it's a very good idea it is in india we can give in line with the indian tradition and towards the end of the teacher session the they gave me a charka you know which gandhi ji used to use i was so happy to receive it because when gandhi ji started the swadeshi movement he wanted to teach how we should keep our lives very simple mm-hmm. and uh, not uh, complicate our lives uh, with uh, uh, only materialism mm-hmm. so i was telling everybody that your chairman is a really a very revolutionary personality very thoughtful personality and uh, i am so happy to see the sublime uh, principles uh, present in his heart which are coming out in various fo- ways and forms uh, i am very happy to be here i heard that there is a vigyan college in hyderabad also so i wish i will visit that vigyan also and get to see more i deeply appreciate you and congratulate you for this <coughs> we would like to have a continued connection with your college we can do something for the teachers something for the students uh, in future and uh, uh, and in this way uh, we can preserve the spiritual heritage of uh, india uh, which has been living in the hearts and lives of people for the millions of years so students here are very nicely disciplined and uh, nicely trained i'm very happy to be here i'm coming to this college for the first time and got to know many things i was quoting from bhagavad gita um, jnanam vigyana sahitam yajnatpa moksha she ashubad krishna says we need theoretical knowledge but we also need practical realization so you are bringing many things on a practical level down to earth in this college in the lives of students and teachers i congratulate you and i wish vigyan foundation this college and all other colleges a grand success in all your noble endeavors thank you